It's always such an honor to spend time with you and to be together. And if you're brand new, welcome to this channel. I also want to take a moment and just acknowledge you for taking time to listen to something that can truly help you in improving your solving skills. If you're super stressed in solving, the tips that I give are short, concise and how they can be better and improve your solving strategies. So today's topic is on representation of relations and this is related to MFCS, DMS and DMGT. So in this, how to represent a relation? So there are two types here. First one is relation matrix and the second one is a digraph, which is nothing but the directed graph. See here, whatever might be the relation, we can represent in two notations. The first one is through matrix notation and next one is through graphical representation. And see here the examples are flashing on the screen and these are very, very important. And if you watch this video right till the end, you will be getting how to represent as a matrix and how to draw a graphically. See, the first thing here is, the first question here is A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. And the relation we have to frame as A, B, ordered per A, B such that A is strictly greater than B. So here we have to make a relation. How to make a relation? The set of all ordered pairs forms a relation. See, I'll explain you how to make a relation here. The first thing here is A is given as 1, 2, 3, 4. And the relation here is the set of ordered pairs. See, for the set of ordered pairs, we have to frame that A should be greater than B. So here, R relation means the set of all ordered pairs. If you take 1 here, so 1 is not greater than 2, greater than 3, greater than 4. So leave it. And next one, if you take 2 here, so if you take 2 here, 2 is greater than 1. Clear? So 2 is strictly greater than 1. And 2 is less than 3 and less than 4. So leave it. And next one, if you take with 3, start with 3. So if you start with 3, so 3 is greater than 1. So 3 is greater than 2. Clear? And 3 is not greater than 4. So leave it. And next one, coming to 4. So if you take 4 here, 4 is greater than 1. And 4 is greater than 2. And next one, 4 is greater than 3. So these are all the possible ordered pairs and the set of all ordered pairs forms a relation. And now this relation should be represented in two kinds. First one is relation matrix and next one is a digraph. So how to represent this? So how to represent this in the matrix notation as the relation ordered pairs are very clear flashing. See here. So in order to represent in the matrix notation, so these are the rows that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and here. So this is columns, these are columns that is 1, 2, 3, 4. So if we have a relation from 2 to 1, so this is 2 to 1, there is a relation, keep 1 here. And next one, 3 to 1, so 3 to 1, there is a relation, keep 1 here. 3 to 2, there is a relation here, keep 1 here. And next one, 4 to 1, there is a relation, keep 1. And next 4 to 2, there is a relation, keep 1 here. And next one is 4 to 3, there is a relation, keep 1 here. And the remaining are all 0. So there is no relation from 1 to 1, 1 to 0, 1 to 3, 1 to 4. And here also 1, 2, 3. And here also this one. So here, this is the way we, which we can represent these ordered pairs in the matrix rotation. And next one is a digraph. So how to represent the digraph? As we have the relation ordered pairs as like this. And see, the thing is 1, 2, 3, 4. See here, the edge. See here. The vertices are 1, 2 and next one is 3 and 4. So now how to represent this one? So there is a relation from, from 2 to 1. So 2 to 1 there is a relation. So give it an edge here like this. So from the directed graph this is 2 to 1. And next one is 3 to 1. So 3 to 1. So there is a relation and therefore give a directed graph like this. And next one is 3 to 2. So from 3 to 2 there is a directed edge. And next one is 4 to 1. So this is from 4 to 1. And next one is 4 to 2. So, so 4 to 2 there is a relation. Next one 4 to 3. So there is a relation here. So this is how we have to represent our digraph for a relation. So this is also so simple to understand. And see here the edges are 1, 2. See here the vertices are 1, 2, 3 and 4. So wherever you find a relation ordered pair. So you have to give one edge. And as it is directed. So, so here from set 1 to set 2. 
and see here the next question hope you understand this one and the next question here is a matrix is given as 1 2 3 4 and here the relation ordered pairs are given the set of all ordered pairs makes a relation here and now we have to represent this in the matrix notation so here the first numbers 1 this is 2 this is 3 and this is 4 so we have to give it as a rows 1 2 3 and 4 and next one here is See here, there is 1 here, there is 2 here, there is 3 and there is 4. So here even there is 1, 2, 3, comma 4. And now there is a matrix relation, relation matrix. So here from 1 to 1, there is a relation keep 1 here. And next one, 1 to 4, there is a relation keep 1 here and remaining are all zeros. And next one, 2 to 2. So there is a relation from 2 to 2 and there is a relation from 2 to 3 and there is a relation. So remaining are all zeros. And next, there is a relation from 3 to 2 and there is a relation from 3 3 and remaining are all zeros. And next one, 4, 1. So, there is a relation from 4, 1 and there is a relation from 4, 4. Remaining are all zeros. So, this is how we have to represent a relation as a matrix notation. And next one, how to represent this relation as a digraph. So, in order to represent this as a digraph, see here. So, here... 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have to represent this is 1, this value is 2 and this value is 3 and this is 4. And now see here, there is a relation from 1 to 1. So, there is only single one here. So, you have to keep a loop here. So, 1 to 1. Next one is 1 to 4. So, this is from 1 to 4. And next one is 2 to 2. So, there is only single 2 here. Therefore, keep a self loop from 2 to 2 and next one is 2 to 3 so this is from 2 to 3 and give an edge for it and next one is 3 to 2 and again from 3 to 2 give an edge for 3 to 2 and next one is 3 to 3 there is only one single 3 here so give a self loop for 3 to 3 and next one is 4 to 1 so this is from 4 to 1 give an edge and next one is 4 to 4 so give a self loop for this and this is how we have to represent a digraph for the following relation so this is also so simple so if you understand this is the matrix notation and this is the digraph and so hope you are very clearer after listening to this video and the next one is a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and b is given as 0 1 2 and 4 so here we have to frame a relation so how we have to frame a relation so a comma b is an ordered pair and c a is less than <coughs> or equal to b sorry a less than or equal to b so we have to frame a relation so how to frame a relation here so this is the relation so we have to make a set of ordered pairs so from set one if i take one here so one should be less than or equals b so if i take 0 here so 1 is greater than 0 so leave it so equality holds therefore 1 comma 1 holds and if i take 1 here so the first number should be less than or equals the second number so you can take 2 here so 1 is less than 2 and next one is 1 is less than 4 so why i am leaving this 1 is 1 comma 0 so 1 is greater than 0 so leave it 1 equals 1 I have taken 1 comma 2 I have taken and 1 comma 4 I have taken so coming to 2 here so 2 and 0 so relation here is 2 is greater than 0 2 is greater than 1 leave it and 2 equals 2 so there is a possibility for equality and next 2 comma 4 is also uh, exist because a is less than b and next one taking 3 so 3 is greater than 0 3 is greater than 1 3 is greater than 2 and 3 sorry 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 and 3 is less than so here less than holds that is 3 comma 4 exists so they are the possibilities as 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 1 comma 4 2 comma 2 2 comma 4 and 3 comma Four. And now we have to represent in the matrix notation. The set A should be like uh, rows that is 1, 2, 3. And the set B as 0, this is 1, this is 2 and this is 4. So we have to make a matrix notation. So here there is a relation from 1, 1. So there is a relation from 1, 1, keep it 1 here. 
so 1 2 so there is a relation from 1 2 and there is a relation from 1 4 so there is no relation from 1 comma 0 and next one coming to 2 comma 2 there is a relation and 2 comma 4 there is a relation and remaining are all zeros and this is 3 comma 4 this is 1 3 comma 4 there is a relation so keep it 1 and rest are all zeros so this is how we have to represent as a relation matrix and hope you guys understand so how to make a relation set of all ordered pairs and how to represent in the matrix notation and next one is coming to the digraph so we have to represent this as a digraph so in order to represent as a digraph what is set a here 1 2 3 is from set a so this is 1 this is 2 and this one is 3 and what is set b here 0 1 2 and 4 and see here this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 and 4 and now we have to make a digraph here so in order to make a digraph so from 1 1 there is a relation so this is 1 1 there is a relation so there is one from the first set and one from the second set they are making a relation and therefore there should be an edge between these two and 1 2 so this is 1 and 2 so from 1 from the first set and 2 from the second set so there is a relation and keep one edge here so 1 comma 4 so this is 1 comma 4 1 from the first set and 4 from the second set make a relation and next one 2 2 so there is 2 so 2 from the first set and 2 from the second set give so you, there should even be a loop here there is no single 2 here there are two twos from set 1 as well as set 2 and therefore give an edge for this and next one is 2 to 4 so this is from 2 to 4 and 2 from the first set and 4 from the second set and this is 3 from 4 3 comma 4 3 from the first set and 4 from the second set give an edge here and this is how we have to represent a digraph so Hope, hope you all guys learned how to make a relation, how to represent the relation in the matrix notation as well as a graphical notation. And if you really like, you know what to do, please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to this channel and have a look at my next video also. That is also most important. And these are all the basic things which you have to learn. And if these uh, videos are very beneficial, you have to raise your thumb, pass it on to your friends. Thank you so much for watching and stay until the end.